This is another style of coin payout mechanism from a gaming machine and it's quite unusual in that it looks a bit like the old solenoid versions. It basically had a tube of coins and they had a solenoid plunge that would get pulled back by the solenoid and then it would return under spring pressure and it would push the coins out. And they could pay out at quite a high rate but they were very, very noisy. This is a motorised one with a geared motor um, with a cam onto that same style of plastic plate so that when you run it, I'll just turn it on here It pops the coins out one at a time. That's, that's it running at its rated voltage. It's drawing about, it's 24 volts. It's drawing about 130 milliamps on average. And that's as fast as it goes. So not really a sort of high speed pair mechanism. So um, I'll just turn that off. It's quite modular in the sense that, I'll just get rid of some of these coins. The, it comes with a standard length of tube that you can cut to size, I presume, presumably. And it's quite a thick, translucent plastic. It's supposed to be clear, but it's got a slight translucence to it. Um, and that's held in place by a simple arrangement. It's basically a nut and a thumb screw. And this just sits into this guide for the nut. You put the tube in, you tighten this up, and it just pinches the tube in place. And the tube sits on a ledge at the bottom that also has a slight bevelling to actually uh, divert the coins into the... Uh, payout area. So um, if I tip this money out and uh, power it up again, you'll see that there's the mechanism there going backwards and forwards and it just pushes out one coin at a time. There's a switch here that uh, has the arm sticking down here that if you put a certain number of coins in, I'll just turn this off for that, uh, here's the switch, and if I put a certain number of coins in, once it reaches the height of that switch, which takes a modest number, um, it presses that switch in and that shows the machine, that tells the machine that the unit has coins in the tube. Once it goes beyond a certain depth, uh, I'll just uh, start it up again, you'll probably see that switch um, click in. There it goes. And that tells that the coinage is low. For the paying out itself, uh, there's a optical sensor here, just a standard brake beam infrared sensor. And there's not really much at that visible, but the cam plate actually breaks that. Every time the cam is fully forward, it breaks the infrared beam. And that's picked up and it just indicates to the machine that basically one coin has been paid out and once it's paid out as many as it needs to pay out, it will just kill the power to the motor and the motor will just free wheel at that point, uh, usually uh, just about halfway back. I'm not 100% sure how far it free, free wheels. Let's give that a wee test. Let's put it under load with coins. The more coins there are, um, the heavier the pressure and the... Uh, plunger. I'm just keeping my fingers out of the way here because this is quite a vicious thing, as all these plunger ones are. So, um, yeah, looking at the sensor here, where would it stop? If it virtually starts, it just gets right back to the back, uh, but doesn't quite start pushing another coin forward. So, um, yeah. Yeah, pretty consistent. The um, cam mechanism, I think this is a bearing. I think it's at least a rotating sleeve in there. And then you've got this slot. I'm just keeping my fingers clear of all the sort of crushy bits at the moment. And that's basically how it drives the uh, ram backs and forwards, the bit that pushes the coins off. There is um, another plastic sort of um, adjustable plate in there. I think it's really designed for adjusting the coinage levels for how many coins it's going to pay out and how thick they are because it seems to accommodate quite a large range of um, sizes. So yeah, it's, it's an interesting device. I've never actually come across one of these in the flesh in a game. It's always been either the solenoid type or laterally. Um, it went up to the, um, the electronic versions, uh, the, the hopper versions. I'm just actually suddenly realised, I wonder what this is, but it's, uh, it's to adjust the... Uh, positioning of this 
base mechanism that's based, tube, based to the tube and uh, presumably allow other ones to be put in. So, kind of interesting. Quite neat, quite quiet compared to the sonoid ones, but perhaps not as fast or as smooth as the hopper-based pair mechanisms. <laughs> 